Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy Bowser Rollins with Litigation Support Guru. In today's tip, I want to share with you some of the benefits of using section breaks instead of a table in Microsoft Word and more specifically when you're doing resumes. This applies to other things besides resumes, but in my example, I want to discuss resumes. So here's the reasons. I've listed the reasons here why I think that they're beneficial. The first one still applies to the way people are doing it now, which is tables. And this is an example of what a table would look like. You basically create two or three columns, you put your list of items in there, and then you turn borders off so that it doesn't show as a table in your, you know, when people print your Word document. So another reason, though, that I think that section breaks are a little bit better than tables is when you need to edit them after they exist. So if it's a table like this and you want to insert and remove items, you're moving the values around in the cells, which is a little harder to do. Now, the third reason I have here also applies to tables. If anybody's using tables to get columns of information, then they're showing that they know how to use Microsoft Word. But if you use section breaks, you're, you're using a stronger, a more serious feature of Word. And most people are afraid to use section breaks. So if you use section breaks, that really shows that you know how to use Microsoft Word. Okay? so. This is just an example of a, what a resume might look like. You might have a list of software, or you might have a list of courses that you've completed. So I'm going to add section breaks and show you how easy it is to do. So I like to start at the end. So after the last entry, I type the entries as is, like this. And then after the last entry, right before the paragraph symbol, and I can see the paragraph symbol because I have show hide on. If I turn show hide off, I can't really see what I'm doing. So turn show hide on, and then we're going to go to the page layout tab. We're going to go to the break section, and we're going to use a continuous section break. Okay, so the next step is to put a section break at the beginning of the list. So I'm going to click right here before the first item, and I'm going to insert a break and choose continuous. Now, it still looks the same in the document, of course, but now we add the columns. So we click on columns and we choose two or three, depending on what we want. So let's choose two. So now you can see that you have a section break before and after your list, and then your list is in two columns. Okay, so now let's look at the same list in three columns. And this is cool because you can easily, the list exists already. You're just choosing whether you want two or three columns. Whereas if you did a table, oops, if you did a table, you'd have to, again, you'd have to move the entries around within the cells, you know, a lot of cutting and pasting. So in this example, I just have my list and I'm choosing to switch from two columns to three columns. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so now it's three columns. And now if I ever need to make any edits, it's one fluid list in the section breaks. So if I need to swap out, you know, an entry, let's say that uh, I want to take out this entry and add another entry anywhere, I just do it. I just add, you know, a new paragraph and add the entry. But it makes it a lot easier to do those edits because it's section breaks. So let's do one more right here. Let's go to the end of the last entry before the paragraph symbol breaks, continuous, and then before the first entry, breaks, continuous, and then anywhere between the section breaks. Let me uh, show you what it looks like. If you can't see the section breaks, see how they are beautiful, like you can see them really clearly. Let's turn off show hide. Now you really can't tell where the section breaks are, which is makes it a lot easier if you turn on show hide. So anywhere in this list, I can click anywhere in this list, I can change the columns. So let's try three. Okay, so this is what it would look like as a section on your resume. Okay, and it looks beautiful. Let's go ahead and go to File Print and look at the preview version. So you can see here's the table and you can play around with the spacing, you know, with a paragraph spacing here if you wanted it to be tighter. This one has a wrap, so you might not want it to be tighter on this section. 
But anyway, so you can see that nobody can tell, right, from the printed document that it's section breaks versus tables. But you have to give your resume to people in Word format, not PDF format. So they're going to be able to see everything that you've done to format your resume. And if they see you using section breaks, they're going to be impressed. Okay, I hope you can put this to good use.